Lab Guy here. I just want to give you folks a quick update on why the next video is taking more time than I originally anticipated. The next video was and is going to be the deep dive into the tiny TV board. The board that processes and amplifies the video, separates the sink into various useful pulses, and generates horizontal and vertical scanning ramp voltages. As I wrote the script for that board and made various technical statements, I would then stop and take the necessary photos and video clips of the scope waveforms of voltage readings. Needless to say, reality and theory are not always in agreement. I found a couple of assembly errors, which are not a big deal, but also found some parts that just were not working as designed. Imagine that. But have no fear, that video will inevitably be released. While I was working on the Bobblevision, I connected the signal generator and applied the square grid crosshatch pattern. Lo and behold, the grid is distorted on the left side of the image. Okay, fine. Let's take a quick look at the waveforms. I connect the scope probes as demonstrated in the previous episode and holy cow! The darned image is now perfectly linear. Remove the scope probes and the distortion returns. What the Farnsworth? Hook them up, good scanning. Take them off, bad scanning. What's happening here, you might rightfully ask. So the oscope probes are adding a bit of resistance and capacitance to the output pins of the scan amplifier. The effect is as repeatable as it is profound. The probes have a characteristic loading effect of 10 megohms of resistance and 10 picofarads of capacitance. This will certainly affect the high impedance output of this type of amplifier. So I says to myself, Myself, why don't we attach some 10 megohm resistors and 10 puff capacitors to those nodes and move on? If anything can go wrong, it will. Murphy's Law. I have plenty of 10 meg resistors and not a single 10 picofarad capacitor with more than a 50 volt rating in the house. An order has been placed for a couple of dozen 10 picofarad 1000 volt caps just to be safe and they will arrive by next weekend. So that is the conclusion of this report. Thank you for your patience and your membership. Enjoy some sneak photos of what's to come and we will see you again in the next episode. Lab Guy out.